All right, you guys, I wanted to quickly show you guys my RTX 3090. Uh, this is the Omen um, OEM uh, 3090, and for the longest time, I could not get it to maximum hashing, which is around 120 to 123 um, at a sustainable temperature. And today, I finally got it to work. It's a combination. Uh, it's uh, using an aluminum plate heat sink to suck the uh, heat up from the back plate and then cooling it off with a fan right here as well as repadding but there was something very specific uh, during the pads so before we get to that let me show you what it's mining at so right now as you can see it's been swinging around 121 to 123 and the temperature has stabilized at uh, 67 GPU and 96 to 98 um, VRAM temp. Now if you look at all of my, I have two 3090s right here. This is the one that I have not pat yet. As you can see, uh, temperature is 50 temp, but the VRAM is very hot at 98 and it only mines at 100. Whereas the one that I've repatted uh, mines at almost 122, uh, up to 123 with the VRAM of still 98 as well. And I finally figured out, it, it's kind of hard because once you, when you have a card that mines so well already, that's padded so well, it's kind of hard to repad it, as opposed to some of my 3080s I've uh, been able to repad. Some of them were padded really bad. So I repadded, they're all running at 95s so. now. Uh, but this one, as you can see, uh, after I repad it, I can get the same VRAM temp as the unpadded one, which mines 101, and mine mines at 102. And the trick to it was, uh, here's a photo, and I, I still have one more 3090 like I just showed you. My other 3090 is in here. It's sitting in uh, with all of the other rig. It's one right there sitting in there. So for that one, uh, when I repat that, I'll show you guys the step by step. But basically, this is all it is. So there's uh, once you take it off, once you take the, the this part off, the back off, right? There is this bracket that sits on top of it, and there are five screws. What you do is you unscrew the five screws on the side and you lift this up. Then you're going to be exposed to this copper plate right here. And what it is is this copper plate does not make uh, flush contact with this back, the other side of this blue, right? It doesn't make flush contact. So it can't cool the VRAM. The VRAM sits on top of the blue right here. And then on the back, it touches the uh, copper, but because there wasn't any pace on there, it didn't uh, transfer the heat. So what I did was I added the heat back here, or sorry, the pace back here. So what that essentially does is once I flip this side over, uh, these memory, um, these memory chip touches the blue pads right here, and the blue pads touches the frame, and on the other side of the frame, it touches this right the pace which mean that the fan on the bottom will cool this copper plate and this plate will pull heat from the from the vram and essentially that is why what we're seeing here is if we look at the 23090s the one that's unpadded has a cooler temp but a hotter vram and mine has a hotter temp but a cooler vram because it's pulling the temp from the vram onto the copper plate Right, so the plate, the whole GPU will be a bit hotter, but in exchange, your um, your your memory, uh, your VRAM will be much much cooler. So I'm very happy with the results. Um, like I said, let me scroll up a bit. Maybe I can catch some 122 up here somewhere. I think I have a lot of applications open, so it um, yeah, looks like I can't drive find any 122 up here. Um, I have a lot of applications open, so it's not mining at full efficiency. But earlier it was running at 122. As you can see, it's all 119, 1, um, 190, 119, 120, and VRAM at 98. So that's extremely, uh, for me, that's extremely uh, efficient. That's the only card I'm running at high right now. All of my uh, 3080s I'm running at medium, so they're mining at 95. And then I just got two more cards I got to repat, uh, 3090s and the 3080s, uh, these two. And as you can see, there's a trend here. If you look at all of them, the ones that I've padded uh, has a higher internal temp, but sorry, uh, a higher internal temp, but a lower VRAM, right? Right here, padded, padded. And the two that I haven't padded actually has a lower internal temp. 
uh, and a higher VRAM. That's because most of them, as I've padded, I notice that, that the area around the area around the um, around the chip, uh, this back, this uh, copper plating right here, there's no paste on it. So literally, if you add paste to it, if you add thermal paste, it will pull the temperature off of the VRAM onto here, which is in direct contact with the fans down here, uh, and the fans will cool it. So, right, and let me grab my light. So right there, the fan goes up, and as you can see, that's a copper plate. Yep, and then it'll pull the temp from the top. And the other one I have is this one right here. This also helps without this. I don't think I'd be sustaining 122 uh, with an ambient temperature of 77 degrees Fahrenheit inside my house right now. Uh, this plate, I'll make another video of this to show you guys how effective this is but uh, it pulls this pulls the heat off of my back plate and then I got a fan here running on high I have a setting right here as you can see uh, high medium low so it's constantly pulling that's really hot but it pulls heat off and then it cools it yeah let me know what you guys think if you guys uh, if you guys are any of you guys are running uh, an, uh, the omen if any of you guys are running these uh, omen uh, that's how you uh, 30 80 30 60 70 90 that's how you uh, replate them so let me know what you guys think drop a comment down below uh, like and subscribe if this is helpful guys thanks a lot for watching